Morning everyone and um, welcome back to another chilly but clear blue sky day on the Finca. Um, the other chair is still empty and I'm picking Sharon up um, later on tonight. Um, it would be good to have her back, it's absolutely exhausting and wiped out um, having to do everything by myself. Um, but not to worry. Um, I made a bigger bit of a boo-boo as well. Um, I was, if you remember, I was going to take back that charge controller on my way to pick Sharon up and pick up um, a load of stuff that I need for the apartment upstairs. Um, well, I forgot, didn't I? It's Spanish Constitution Day today, the 6th of December. Um, it's a public holiday. Um, it's a public holiday also on um, Wednesday the 8th. And um, it normally in most places have what they call a bridge day in between the two holidays. Um, so it's possible that thing, nothing's going to be open until Thursday, which is not what I need. Um, so yeah, I've also, um, it's been breezy overnight for the last few nights. Um, well, recently actually, so I've been toying with the idea of getting a, one of those air wind generator things. Um, just to keep us ticking over through the night in the winter. Um, they're not, they don't chuck out much power, but they would provide enough to power, you know, the house on tick over overnight to, to save depleting the batteries. They're very, very expensive though. So what I'm, all I'm doing is monitoring um, the wind speeds that we get. We have a weather station here, and the wind speeds that we get overnight, every night. Throughout the winter, maybe possibly I'll look at it, um, next you know well in the future um, because they do need quite a bit of wind um, to actually you know to their cutting speed as they call it when they start generating electric I think it's about a minimum of um, 16 uh, kilometers an hour 10 miles an hour and um, that's just when they start to produce so that's that's quite breezy that so something else I'm sort of toying with and looking at um, today I want to try and get that first solar panel in and then start working my way up um, the array and the new charge controller is coming on Friday and I wonder why it would take, it would take so long because uh, Monday and Wednesday are national public holidays oh dear so it gives me five days to get the panels in um, hopefully I can get that done I'll certainly have most of them in anyway and so Sharon's back tonight so tomorrow uh, will be better I'll have more time to, to work on it so, enough waffling on, um, I'm going to crack on. Um, another amazing thing happened yesterday, uh, on my day off. Um, Jesse, our blind cat, got a bird. Um, I've no idea how, but she came out of the house um, carrying this bird. Whether one of the others had got it and brought it into the house, I don't know. But she came out um, carrying this bird. I did check it was dead. I couldn't, couldn't even save it. And then proceeded to to play with it, toss it about and having great fun with it. Um, yeah, I did take a little clip of it. Perhaps not the nicest thing in the world, but cats are cats and it was dead as they say anyway. Um, so amazing though, she's blind. So I've no idea how she got it um, or where she got it from. Okay, so what I've done, I've put two new pegs in further up, tied off to that. I'm just going to mark the front one for the height. Two that are at the back there that I put in originally. Um, I'm going to cut them off because they're in exactly the right place. And then I can drop my post for my panel, the wind's here, <laughs> um, right over the top of it. And then I know it's in the right place. Emilio's just turned up. So hopefully, he's going to give me a hand to carry it out. Because it is so breezy, I've got two heavy bits of wood here that I'm going to use to to clamp it into the correct position. 
the wind's supposed to die down this afternoon um, so hopefully um, at least he should hold it um, while I get some concrete sorted out so I'm gonna go see if I can find him and see if we can get it in place well I've missed him so I'm gonna have to try and get it out by myself this should be fun <laughs> Well, it's here. All I've got to do now is try and get it in the right place. Get this leg out. Okay. Get on there. That's him. It's not easy on your own this. <laughs> right, I'll just lie down. Perhaps I'll just get in there a second. Alright. Oh, that is it. Rest for a minute. <laughs> so what I've done, I've put my string line back in place. Um, it's pretty much exactly where I want him now. Um, I'm just going to check the legs are vertical and then get some concrete in the holes. Oh, that's the great stuff, they're in. Um, just letting the concrete go off now. Next, I've wheeled the press out. Um, I need to make the two back legs for it. Um, again, I'm just gonna squish a length um, flat like I did yesterday, the other day, the day before, on the last video. And, um, but leave enough room so I can cut me, cut me two ends off. Hopefully, it's just over a metre, so hopefully, as they're getting shorter as they go up, I can get three lengths out of this next one. Um, so, I'll go and get a bar out and get it squashed. Alrighty, 
where it's squished, all we've got to do now is cut it to the desired angle, which is 33 degrees. About there, I think. Um, right, so it's cut to length. I've marked my hole. I've just offered it up to the panel. Uh, I just need to squish this end now, so it's oval and flared, so it won't pull out the concrete. Drill my hole through there, and it's ready to go in. Woohoo! Hey, so my legs are ready. Drop him in. Stick the bolt through. Get the nut on it. And where's my little level? Check his level. Not quite. Lovely. Tighten him up. Ready for concreting in. Right, so he's in. Um, now I just need to cut my second one and um, drill him through as well. So I'll get that done and get it in and come back to you shortly. Right, so my two legs are in. Um, I just need to concrete them in place, unfortunately. Um, I've only got a tiny little bit of concrete left and I can't go and get any because it's a national holiday. Um, so uh, I'm going to leave those um, big heavy pieces of wood clamped to us. I'm going to go in what concrete I can and then leave those pieces of wood clamped to it to give it some weight because it's still a bit breezy and um, so concreting on excellent so we're on target uh, the first one's in um half concreted and it needs some more uh, add a bit more weight to it um, but i'll have to wait till tomorrow to go and get some um, in the meantime i can prepare for the second panel um, by making myself a matched end of the angle remember like i did with the other one and um get that all prepared ready to go in just need to dig two more holes for that one um so i think i'll crack on with that all right okay panel number two um i've already got one end um remember that i matched up he's, he's ready to go both onto the panel um now i just need another match pair when this is on the panel that'll just slot directly onto the bolts that are, i've just put out there um today so I need to make another match pair um, for that end. I've got two lengths. Um, I just need to. I'm going to use these through bolt holes and this one as a guide, um, just to get them in the in the right place. So I'll get these drilled out ready. All right. So panel number two is ready to go in. Um, I'm gonna. All I'm going to do, it goes in this way. Now this is the top, I've done this one the right way around. This will make, make up to the panel that's already there. And then I'll make the legs um, for that end. When it's in, I'll bolt it up to this end, prop it up in place. But I need to dig the holes first. And um, I need to go and get some concrete. So yeah, not a lot I can do really at this time. But I mean all the days, shouldn't be allowed. So while I've got my power outside, I'm going to take this opportunity to log up some wood. I'm checking the moisture content of all of it um, after the fire episode. And this is... ...6.1%. If you can see that, I don't know. Um, so that's very acceptable. Cool, right, so I'll get, some, get them cut up. So some of them, after I've cut them, um, if you check in the centre, um, it's a little bit higher, which is logical, really, because they dry out from the outsides first. But they're still only around 15%, um, which I believe is acceptable. If it's less than 20% or 21%, 22%, it's acceptable. 
So we're going to go with that. We can have another fire tonight, keep us warm. And Sharon's coming back, so she'll be happy. Well, I'm making progress slowly. Um, second part is ready to go in, um, but it's that time of day again. I've run out of it. I've got to walk the dogs now. When they come back, um, feed donkey and goatee. Then the cats will all on feeding. Then the dogs get fed. And then I get fed. Then I've got to go and pick Sharon up from um, the airport. So thank you so much for watching. Um, we're getting there with these panels. I want to get them in by Friday. Shouldn't, shouldn't have too much trouble. He says famous last words. Um, thanks to all the subscribers. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to Think of Life. And um, thank you to everyone so much that's um, supported the channel. I will see you, we will see you tomorrow.